Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and today's video is going to be my 25 and 26 week pregnancy update. I wanna first start off saying that my house is extremely cold. I don't know why our house does not get warm. We have the heat on, but it just doesn't get warm. Like it gets warm when the heat's on, but the second the heat turns off, it gets cold. So my nose might be cold and I have a blanket on and a sweater and maybe later on I'll put a bigger on, a bigger sweater or jacket on, but we're gonna work through it. It's super cold here in Florida. Cold for Florida, should I say, because it's not super cold, but it is cold for Florida. Um, but we only get it for a couple of months. Usually like two months tops, and we've had it for about a month already. So we should be nearing the end of the cold. All right, so I am actually 26 weeks and two days today, and I didn't film an update last week because there wasn't that much to update on, but this week I have a lot to update on week 20, Six, yeah, I guess week 26 was really, really rough for me. Um, I'm starting to feel physically pregnant and it's really hard for me to deal with and also like mentally deal with it. It's really hard. Um, but I was gonna wait another week, but I still have a, I have a lot that I wanna tell you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Um, so kind of to backtrack a couple of weeks, I think I was 23 weeks pregnant. We found out that our daughter, Lilia, has excess fluid in one of her kidneys. And we will find out on January 6th whether that has resolved itself or whether um, it is still there and she will be um, diagnosed with something or need further observation or be born and need medical intervention somehow. Um, but we are praying that everything is going to be healed and fine and she's going to be all better, but you never know. We are going in, um, with open minds that, you know, it could go good. It could go bad. So luckily, um, if there is fluid in her kidneys, it's not like a life or death situation. Um, she'll just need it to be monitored by a pediatric urologist for about a year. They'll do like, um, an ultrasound I've read. Um, they could put her on a medication. They could do some sort of tubing through the urethra to the to try to get the blockage out to the kidneys. I'm not exactly sure what that's called, but or if that's even how they do it, but that is something that could possibly happen if she is diagnosed with it. So I think in my next pregnancy update, that will be in there. But if you follow along on our vlogs, I will post on there much more frequently, much more like the day after it happens you guys will see that video unless something super bad happens and I just don't feel like uploading that day. But we're going in there with very positive minds, but we're also open-minded to which way it could go. So I wanna jump right into her weight and her size. So she is approximately the size of a rutabaga, hitting the size of an eggplant. The apps are so confusing. I use a bunch of different apps. I use probably um, four to five different apps now. Um, to track her so one app said she was an eggplant like at like 24 weeks and um, this app the other app that I use said she's a size of an eggplant for like four weeks and it was just super confusing so I found one that said rutabaga so that is what we're going with because I take weekly pictures with something that is similar to her size so sometimes we have to just guess same thing we had to do last time which was the pomelo we kind of had to guess the size then too because she was the size of a large grapefruit, but we couldn't find any large grapefruits in the store. It was just really small ones, and I knew she was bigger than that. Okay, so actually week 26, it technically says she's the size of a scallion, which would have been a cute picture, but you never know what next week might be. Um, we already had the rutabaga. Um, and she is weighing in about one and three fourths pounds so almost two pounds we're guessing when we see her in two weeks the six yeah in two weeks a little less than two weeks actually um she'll weigh around two and a half pounds to three pounds she was 13 ounces at my 20 week appointment which is actually measuring on the smaller side but my doctor already has told me from the very early on in my pregnancy that I probably will have a smaller baby because I am very petite and small myself. Moving on, oh, she's also about 14 inches long, which is longer than a ruler, so that's nuts. <laughs> All right, so going right into the symptoms. Oops. 
So this time I wrote down my notes, like I kind of organized them. So the first thing I've been suffering from is heartburn. If you follow along in my vlogs, I was talking about it and I was taking Tums to try to deal with it and cope with it and it just wasn't working. So I ended up um, contacting my doctor to see what else I could take. So she recommended Pepsid and I have been taking Pepsid whenever I have heartburn really bad, but I don't really, I'm not a really big fan of it because um, it takes like an hour to kick in and my heartburn is like excruciatingly painful. So I like it, but I don't like it, but she recommended Pepsid and that's what I'm going to be continuing to take. Um, but it actually has eased down a lot since the beginning of me getting heartburn, which was like right in the beginning of Vlogmas. So in the beginning of December, it was really, really bad. And now it's kind of like eased back into, you know, heartburn every once in a while. But when I get it, it's like bad. And it like, I can't eat, can't drink, it burns, like I wanna cry, I don't wanna do anything. That's how bad it gets. But Pepsi it seems to work. It just takes about an hour to kick in. But if I take it in the morning, it probably wouldn't, like it probably would work throughout the day, but I don't really do that. So I don't know. I'm not a big medicine taker. I don't wanna take medicine if I don't need it. Um, so knowing that some days I have heartburn and some days I don't, I don't wanna take it every morning. So I kind of just take it when I start to feel heartburn or if I know I'm gonna eat something that kind of gives me heartburn or could potentially give me heartburn, um, I take it then. All right, next thing is gas. And I mean that with burps and the other end, gas all the way is something that I've had. I'm typically not a super gassy person, to be honest, but I have been lately. I have changed my diet. If you follow my vlogs as well, you'll know that. Um, I am trying to eat more healthier and go back to the way that I ate before I got pregnant um, so that it's an easier transition for me postpartum to get back into the healthy lifestyle and working out again and doing everything around that. So I am cleared to work out. I don't have like, I'm not, uh, I'm not like a restricted in working out, but with COVID going on, I prefer lifting weights and doing like the Stairmaster as cardio and stuff. So due to COVID, I just haven't gone to the gym. Also the gym that we go to and have a membership to is in Pensacola. We just moved to Milton, um, which is like 30 minutes away from the gym. So I will be keeping that gym membership though because it's the only one around here that has childcare. So I will be keeping that gym membership and going to that gym. I don't care how far away it is. If it has childcare, I will go. But I don't want to put her in danger of COVID because it is a very busy gym. It's a popular gym. Pensacola is a very fit place. I'm assuming because it's right next to a really beautiful beach. I love the coast here, <laughs> off track, but um, that is the reason why I haven't gone. It's purely for COVID reasons and um, being pregnant has been really hard physically on me. All right, the next thing is painful movements. She is so active, it's painful. The other day she actually like kicked almost my hip bone. It felt like she kicked my literal hip bone. It hurt so, so, so bad. I was like, ow, I feel like she broke my hip from the inside. But even like her rolls, her kicks, her jolts, they're all super rough and she constantly does it. So, I mean, I love it because it gives me peace of mind that she's in there growing, um, but they can be extremely painful. And she makes her presence known that she's in there. <laughs> the next thing is that I actually noticed within the week is I've been sleeping a lot more. So. I think this is a result from not sleeping very well at night, um, but I will sleep. I will take like three naps a day. Like, yes, and I am not a big napper. Like pre-pregnancy, I was not a big napper. I don't like taking naps, but this time of my pregnancy, all I wanna do is take naps all the time. Like if we watch movies, we've been watching all the Star Wars movies. All I wanna do is sleep and it sucks, but um, I think it's just the way my body is like, coping with being pregnant and going through a lot of physical changes right now. Um, so that's what my, I'm guessing is what's causing me sleeping more. The next thing, which has been the last couple days is being more irritable. Um, I think that I'm more um, opposed to being irritable. You, certain situations make me irritable, but usually I am a pretty irritable person, uh, like during my period and stuff. So that's not too uncommon for me, but I haven't been irritable the last couple months of my pregnancy, but now it's kind of coming back. But I do catch myself when I get irritable. I just try to smile through it and not let it like overwhelm me or like overtake my body, but it is hard. I can say that. <laughs> 
And the last thing that I'm going to talk about is I've had hip pain and back pain that has literally knocked me off my feet for hours of a day. And I also think this is why I'm sleeping more throughout the day and sleeping less at night is because the back pain the past three nights has kept me up. I cannot get comfortable. I have a pregnancy pillow. It does not help. Um, I've known from the beginning that she is a back baby. She likes to sit further in my um, body, like back towards my spine. I've had an injury when I was 16 with a motorcycle accident with my lower back. So I think that's also causing pain. Um, I have not had pain from that accident in a couple years, but that probably could be a reason why it's worse. Um, and also just carrying more weight. Back pain is very, very common in pregnancy. I know a lot of women experience it. But she is just loves to cuddle with my spine, I guess. I don't know what to say because I'm not that big for being 26 weeks old. So a lot of people are like, you don't even look like you're pregnant. You look like you're just bloated. And I'm like, thanks. But I am. I'm almost seven months pregnant. Whoa. Seven months. I just turned six months, but I'll be seven months. I'm six and a half months, I guess. Closer to seven than six by two days. <laughs> um, but anyways... The hip pain mostly happens when I'm sitting for a long period of time. My mom grew up and had really bad hip pain as a child. She was like, couldn't walk because of it. Like she had a bunch of surgeries and stuff. Um, so that worries me a little bit, but your bones shift so much throughout pregnancy that, you know, it might be just fine by the end of your pregnancy then towards the beginning of your pregnancy, but I do have a very small build and frame. So, um, that's why we think that I will have a smaller baby, which I'm fine with, as long as she's healthy. I really don't care what size she comes out, but I mean, I would rather her come out like six pounds so I can have like an itty bitty baby, and then, and rather than like nine pounds where she's gonna be huge. But I do, like I said, I don't really care. As long as she comes out healthy, that's my main concern. But, excuse me, that is my list of symptoms this week. Like I said, it's been a lot. I feel like even in this video, you can tell that I'm just much more tired. I'm much more drained. I don't have that much energy to do anything anymore. Um, we have her uh, glider coming in the mail. I think it's lost in the mail right now. I don't know how you lose 90 pounds, but it was the holidays, so I'm kind of giving it some grace there, but it's lost in the mail at the moment. So hopefully we get it eventually in her room. We have this TP that we just put up that will be shown in the vlog. That will be after this video, so the next day. Um, but this will also be moving out of her room because it's too big because that's where her dresser is going to end up going. But that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my belly, what it looks like at 26 weeks and two days. I also thought what I would do is post, so like show you guys what I look like now. And then I'll include a picture next to it of like a month ago. So you guys can see if my belly is grown. You guys can um, see that. I don't honestly think my belly has grown that much in a month or two. But could be different from you guys and it changes throughout the day like it's one o'clock so i have eaten breakfast and drinking a lot of water so i'm probably a little bit more bloated than i usually am in the morning um but yeah i'll show you guys and you guys can let me know what you think or just see the difference so you guys can like relate to it maybe um but let's go ahead and do that this is with my shirt on very cute and this is with my shirt up so my back caves in really, really bad. Um, but she is definitely growing in there um, from the front. It looks like she sits lower. She really does sit like right here. It's like her favorite spot. I'm pretty sure she's always like laying this way. Um, and yeah, but she's super cute. I feel like, you know, I actually feel like I have a picture of me like right when I found out I was pregnant wearing this, um, these joggers. So maybe I will try to find that picture. You guys can see that because I feel like these joggers make me look bigger than what I actually am. And they always have even before I got a belly. So I'll let you guys know. They are like supposed to go higher waisted, like up towards your belly button. But because I'm pregnant, I keep it below my stomach because it's uncomfortable if it like stabs my stomach. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.